So, I finally made it to St. John's, Newfoundland. It's cool, but it's uh, clearing up here. It was raining this morning. And I got out to an old park here. It was recommended to me by a local fella that I work with. And uh, it's starting to produce some modern pennies. It's got some uh, history to it here, apparently. Uh, but I really love this place. It reminds me of Ireland. Just the landscape, countryside, scenery. I'm going to show you a little bit of the, the hill here at uh, near St. John's. And uh, turn your eyes in. Some of the scenery just absolutely brilliant. A little cloudy, overcast still. It's uh, early in the morning here. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, I guess this is a uh, fairly uh, newish area of the park and some smaller trees so I've been digging up some modern pennies but uh, just came across something else in the hole here not sure what it is came up a bit higher than a penny let's see what it is together uh, where is it okay that's interesting oh it's in the plug that's why Oh yeah, okay, I think I see it. Yep, here it is, it's a quarter. So that's a refreshing break from the uh, pennies. Does not look silver, there's a second effigy of Queen Elizabeth. So, a little, little tarnished on the back there. I'll get a date off it and let you know. Yeah, it's a 1979, so not bad, heading in the right direction here. And uh, I've got, I, I just really, I'm scoping this area more than anything else. Just got a, maybe an hour break from uh, work and uh, I was just checking this place out. It's not too far from where I'm staying. So uh, Wednesday, I think I'll come back and pound it pretty good and get to some of the older parts of the park. And uh, hopefully we'll get something uh, old and historic. I'll let you know. On my uh, third quarter in quick succession here, like one right after the other. Uh, the other one was also modern, and this one is also modern. So, yeah, modern coins here. I just got a call, too, that my uh, attendance is required uh, elsewhere. So I'm just going to wrap up this hunt here for the... Well, I was here, what, 15 minutes and got six modern coins. So I'll go to the older part of the park uh, on Wednesday when I got some time and... Uh, yeah, at least this is something anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'll let you know. Well, I'm out again here in beautiful St. John's, Newfoundland. Don't ever say Newfoundland, by the way. It's Newfoundland. It's a gorgeous day. It's about 9 degrees Celsius, which is a dramatic departure from the temperatures I was experiencing in Ontario just last week. But beautiful sunshine, a little bit of cloud. And we've got a lot of park, a lot of land here to cover. I'm going to turn you around and show you where I'm going to start. So, uh, yeah, this is a huge uh, old park here uh, near St. John's, Newfoundland. And a lot of ground. The trees don't look that old, but I'm sure people have been losing here, losing things here uh, far enough back that there's silver in the ground and hopefully we'll find it today uh, even across the road there's another oh i don't know how many acres but uh, i won't run out of places to dig today that's for sure so let's get at it find some history catch you on the first hole well first swing of the coil first target first hole first modern penny i think there's going to be a lot of those today this has got well, it's got 1980 on it, right there. So, let's see what else we get. Okay, that's where I started from, just over there, from that tree with the yellow fire hydrant beyond it. So I've gone maybe 30 feet, 10 meters or so. Picked up that uh, first penny, 1980, and then picked up another 1980 penny and a few bottle caps. And I got another penny here. It's a little bit older, 1962, so we're heading in the right direction. And this one wasn't, wasn't deep at all. It's was only about two inches down. 
the dirt here is really nice for digging, which is good because I bought myself a tiny little shovel, which actually fits in my suitcase. So when I travel, I won't have to buy a shovel wherever I go and then abandon it <laughs> before I leave. But uh, that's a nice little digger there. And the parks people won't have too much of a problem with a little shovel like that. So there you go. Uh, we're on the right track. And hopefully we'll find some silver. Get you on the next one. This is my first non-penny coin. And lo and behold, it is a mercury dime. Holy cow. Totally, totally unexpected. I can already see the date on it. It's a 1945 <laughs> mercury dime. <laughs> Unbelievable. That was about three inches down. It gave up a 8485 signal on the Garrett AT Pro and uh, just popped right out as soon as I pulled the plug out. Unbelievable. Well, that's going in the wallet. And I'll clean it off when I get back to where I'm staying. Look at that. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. If nothing else happens now, it's going to be a good day. And it's still early, so... Wow, what a nice find. This is only the second Mercury Dime I've ever found. The other one was in 1944, so... Oh, I'm happy. Like I got my first coin spill of the day. Uh, uh, four coins. Consisting of two pennies and two dimes, I think. Uh, not very deep. Not thinking that they're very old. No, that's the second effigy of Queen Elizabeth there. So, I don't think those dimes are going to be silver. But still, this park's just got one signal right after another. I'm moving like a couple feet, getting a, a nice signal. A couple more feet, getting another nice signal. So, uh, yeah, I'm having fun. I'll check the dates on these and let you know if there's anything important. They're all ranging from 1973 to 1981. Uh, but uh, no, anytime you can find four coins in the one hole, got to be happy with that. Let's carry on. It was giving off a really nice high signal, 87, 88. Uh, appears to be a medallion of some kind. And on this side, I believe, engraved in fine, fine writing, it says class of 94. Uh, not deep, maybe two or three inches. Very heavy very thick don't think it's a precious metal looks like it had a uh, an attachment there for a chain or something it says class of 94 and script on one side and nothing on the other that I can see but it's a little bit corroded a little bit dirty eh, I'll take a toothpick to it now and see if I can get anything else off of that if not I'll wash it up and uh, show it in the wrap up so I just dug a weedy 1957 first weedy of the day and over there I dug a King George VI Canadian penny which was in 1953 so I'm getting some older coins here but I'm having fun tons of uh, modern coins like one right after the other it's kind of ridiculous I think this hill might have been used for tobogganing or something because uh, just a lot a lot of lost modern coins and a few older ones. I'll keep going. In this rather shallow uh, sandy soil got an 87 clear as day and look what it is. It's a silver quarter. Don't know what uh, year it is yet. You'll probably pick it up before I do but uh, yes indeed it's got the uh, first effigy of Queen Elizabeth on the front meaning it's Probably 1953 to, I think, 1964, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, yeah, without my glasses on, I can't even see it with the, with the uh, magnification of the camera. But uh, let me check it out. Yeah, 1962 Canada Quarter. Lovely. So that's two silvers for the day. A 62 Canada Quarter and a 45 uh, Merc. So lovely day wonderful I couldn't believe I found that so shallow I'm gonna keep checking I did just recheck that hole and I've come up with a dime in the same uh, in the same hole and it's a 1968 dime 
Now I won't know if that's silver until I check it with a, uh, with a magnet because uh, as most of you know in 1968 the Canada Mint made some uh, dimes out of um, well a portion of uh, silver and some dimes without any silver. Uh, the ones without any silver will stick to a magnet. So I'll check that out when I get back to the uh, place and I'll let you know. Third silver for the day guys right here. Little dime. Beauty. Not sure the date yet, but no question about it. That's a dime, silver dime. Get a date on this. 1955. It's trying to get a lot of traffic around here in the park now, so probably pack it in. I said if I get three silvers today, that's enough for me. So anyway catch you on the next one if I decide to keep going so what have we here what have we here this was only ringing up as a 75 and it sure looks like it's the right size for a large scent it was about six or seven inches down that looks like King George there on the front facing left holy mackerel this is older dirt than I thought <laughs> I'm going to clean that up and get a date off and get right back to you. So I'm not so sure this is a large scent after all. I don't recognize the design on the reverse side. I'm 90% sure that that's King George V on the obverse. Okay, this is a good reason to quit for now and go home and check this out. And um, yeah, find out what this really is. Great day hunting, a few silvers, a few old coins, good weather. Had a good chat with uh, the parks guys here earlier. I think I talked one of them into becoming a metal collector, or a metal detector. So, or metal detectorist. I don't think he'd become a metal detector. That's one of these things down here. So, anyway. Okay, I'll uh, catch you on the wrap-up. Hi again, everybody. It's Kevin from Digging Halton. Welcome back to... Uh... Episode 31 uh, of uh, Season 1 of Digging Alton. This is the uh, amazing, wonderful adventure trip to St. John's, Newfoundland. And uh, uh, the wrap-up of the things that I found there. It was an amazing time. I just wish I had, uh, you know, another couple of days there, especially in that park where I was. I was just basically scratching the surface and uh, doing some cherry picking and still came up with some amazing coins. So I'm going to challenge you guys, you other metal detectorists out there, if you want to do a road trip next summer, contact me because I'm serious about this. We'll go out to St. John's, Newfoundland and hit that park hard and come up with some amazing things because uh, from what I found, the sampling... Of the few coins that um, I did recover, there's some history there. There's some amazing history and really good stuff to, to find. So, hey, why not? Uh, let's let's uh, have some fun and make a road trip out of it. I would love to do that. Anyway, here's the wrap-up for this week. I hope you enjoy it. Up for this week, take three. For some reason, the first two uh, attempts at this... Uh, didn't work. The, the file was corrupted or something. But anyway, here we go. I've got uh, all of these modern pennies uh, totaling, what, 78 of them for the week. Uh, there was a lot of modern pennies in that park in Newfoundland. As you can see there, they will certainly add to the uh, penny pail, which should be almost full uh, by the uh, end of the season. Uh, it's it's getting there already, so a lot of pennies that week. Anyway, also I've got some uh, modern uh, spendables here, uh, totaling seven dollars and ten cents. Added to the previous week's total of one eighty nine thirty, gives us an annual total for two thousand eighteen of one ninety six forty. Yes, we will totally uh, go through two hundred dollars. Uh, for the year. There's no doubt about it. I'm only going to show you the one relic this week. There was a lot of uh, miscellaneous unimportant stuff, but this one here 
says class of 94 on it. If any, anybody knows anything more about it, please let me know. But obviously it was attached to a chain at one time, which broke. You can't see the, the very, very fine script writing on there. I'm not even sure what side it's on now, but um, it says class of 94. Uh, quite heavy. It, it uh, appears to be bronze, which, um, yeah, was definitely made for a high school graduation or something of that nature. And then my important older coins. I got this 1945 Merc. Uh, second Merc I've ever found. That was a total surprise. Got this uh, 1962 Silver Quarter. Canadian. A little bit uh, worn. But still, anytime you can find a Silver Quarter, it's a good deal. 1955 Silver Dime, so that's three silvers for the week, which isn't bad at all. Um, thought this was 1957 um, Weedy. It's not. It's a 1956, and it's in pretty good shape. Now, this coin here, which I had a hard time identifying in the field, turns out to be a King George V uh, British halfpenny. Couldn't quite confirm the date on the bottom there under Britannia. I think it's a 1918. Tell me if you see anything there, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So there's a lot of history there in that park. I want to go back there so bad because I only spent a couple hours there and came up with these really nice coins and didn't even go to the older part of the park. So um, hopefully I'll get there next year. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please send your comments. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, also uh, like and share all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to next week. Uh, wait till you see what I found. So long for now.